going to show you how to make a free web proxy. The proxy will allow you to bypass filters and to go on websites without them getting your real IP address. First, what you should do is go to Google, search free web ho hosting. It'll bring up lots of, lots of things. I already got mine picked out. So, sign up, make my account. Put in my information to sign up. And put in a disposable email address for the email. I use 10 minute email dot com. I think you should use it too because the, the emails always seem to go through. Just paste, well, just get, send me a minute email address. Get the email address. Copy it. Your clipboard. Just do this or whatever. And paste it in the email part. Find us, put in the anti spam measure. Just go check it. Confirmation email sent. Put your 10 minute email account. Keep refreshing it like this. Should show up. Takes two minutes at most, usually it takes almost instantly. Be patient, just refresh, it'll show up. Here it is. Copy the address of the email into your browser. Enter in the rest of the stuff. Center random crap. Whoever heard of this country? I haven't. Double check your password. So you can actually get in. Press submit. There, the account's been created successfully. Your control panel. Let's log in. The reason my password's already there because I already made account on this host is keep my password the same. Yeah. Control panel. Here's your control panel. This is what it looks like. FTP connection information desk at that. And go to your FTP client. I use FTP Explorer. If you want to get a freeware one, you get FileZilla. I would go to a new profile, turn my host address, that's what I would do. Go log in. Password should be the same one you create the account with. And next, just name it something. Here we go, we're in it. Not just to leave the index.html, it's already in there. And with the .exe file you downloaded in the description, just run it. It's a self-extractor file. It will create, it'll create a folder called install, or upload, upload. Just take all the stuff in the upload folder, drag it over to your FTP Explorer client, or FTP client or whatever you use will upload. Some files might take a little bit long. There you go, 
uploaded in your FTP. So it's on the internet now. Just your control panel, click the link. You have a proxy. And just enter in wherever you want to go. I'm going to go to whatsmyip.org to test it. It should be different than on your regular computer. If it is, it works. There you go. Enjoy your proxy.